Hello everyone. Um, so it's Thursday and I'm doing Friday's video on Thursday because as you guys know I have a busy day on Fridays and I was I didn't know which one to do because I had two options which was um, if Phil managed to get to the pet help office then I'd go in to that video a bit more or I'd cover some of um, the this week's episodes of the Jake Paul uh, the whole Jake Paul series that Shane Dawson's doing. Looks like Phil's not been able to get to the office this week over over at Better Help or um he something might be released tomorrow with regards to it, I don't know. Um so instead I am going to look at the Shane Dawson series. I have watched tonight's episode and a lot of people were kicking off because he said it was going to be uploaded on Wednesday but it ended up being uploaded today which is Thursday for me for you it's yesterday um, and the main reason for that was because he has a bladder infection so he and he was it, bladder infections aren't very nice and um, it was making him very ill so he was having to recover from that and while I understand people wanting videos at the end of the day the YouTubers health and mental health in the and the YouTubers family's health and mental health is more important than a video that's for those that are wondering that's why I didn't upload for like three or four months because my husband was in and out of hospital and when I wasn't asleep I was looking after him and it was a whole headache um one day we might go into that it all depends on him um but let's go to what I'm supposed to talk about which is Jake Paul <coughs> right get me wine um, one of the key things that I'm noticing in this is it is showing Jake in a better light than we've normally seen him um, because when he does vlogs it's very contrived it's very it's at like a, a million percent and nobody can sustain that amount of energy every day all day so we all knew that part of the way he is on camera is not necessarily the way he is when he's off camera because um, he is so loud and so but and so out seems so out of control and so but in his real life he has a, he tends to he's still a bit loud but he's not that loud and he, he is a little bit out of control but he's not that out of control that he is dangerous as in he's when he's um I don't think it was today's, I think it was Monday's episode. Um, Shane was in an ATV with him and as was the, um, as was Katie and they were riding and while they were going fast they were safe because he didn't go f too fast that it, it would become unsafe. Um, I do think he's, he's one of those people that he's a bit of a dr an adrenaline junkie but it's controlled adrenaline junker but one thing I am gathering which we will find out next week if I'm right is that a lot of the things that we see coming from Jake are a direct result from the family dynamic um, a lot of people already know who Greg Paul is and a lot of us don't like him and a lot of people are saying why aren't you mentioning the allegations against Greg Paul and the answer to that to that question is those have only recently come out over the last week or so and the recording the videos were filmed like six weeks ago so he can't he can't just suddenly ring up Jake out to nowhere and say oh can you answer about these because this series is about Jake this series is about why he is the way he is and we are finding out that a lot of it is due to Logan and Greg um apparently Greg's living with him been living with me for the last few months that's not the great thing when I lived with my mum um I lived with my mum until I was about 28 and that was a nightmare um mum comes and visits for a week by the end of that week we're literally if she stays any long if she stays a day longer we start arguing um, I lived with my in-laws for two years and that wasn't easy 
but when you're with family and you're literally living on top of family it's that is where the issues start to come into play that is where the issues start to factor in because if Greg's always there then Jake doesn't have any privacy Jake doesn't have time where he can just be himself where he can tone himself down where he's not having to record where he's not having to train where he's not having to do crazy shit because of the amount of people he has living in the house now i understand that he doesn't like being alone and i understand that he doesn't like having people around him that he can't trust but the problem is when you are in a situation like jk is and it's something that from the sounds of it he found out from previous incidents is that when you have a lot of people around you and you you help them in every way you possibly can yeah you, they do sign a contract and yes he does get a certain amount of money off them but that's the business side of things anything other than, other than that they they only latch on to J jake and logan specifically because of who they are and it's like right i'm going to latch on to you and i'm going to pull out of you everything i can and it's happened before now there are certain things that i do wish they would address like the fact that they're saying that a lot of these pranks were staged but there's a lot of things that didn't look staged and they haven't addressed the why he thought it was okay to call pe mexican people beaners when that makes you look racist why he said t told the fan about oh be careful he might blow us up who was of um, Middle Eastern descent. There are a lot of things that aren't being mentioned and I think a lot of it is because there is so much to mention that Shane doesn't necessarily know about all the little bits, he just knows about the general scheme of things. He doesn't know about all the nitpickly little bits and he doesn't know about all the issues that a lot of us do have like the being thing like um like the spitting on people you don't do that even if it's a prank and even if it's a fake prank you just you just don't do it. it's disgusting um and why he did the pranks that he did in the house that he was when he was as close to his neighbors as he was he wasn't thinking of other people he should have gone to a warehouse and done those pranks or an abandoned warehouse and done those pranks, or an abandoned swimming pool and done those pranks, and not done them in the house where there's other houses nearby. Um, I do think a lot of it is his immaturity. I think when he registered the Team 10 business address at the house, he didn't think that, that would then become public, and then when it became public, he was like, oh shit, can't do anything about it now. So he, he just sort of embraced it, because a lot of people don't realise that when you when you register a business at an address that address is then public record um which is why a lot of youtubers when they start businesses they their registered business address will either be a p.o box or what they call a renter space um offices where you essentially rent a chair type of thing or rent a booth in a, in a huge office space where you can go and work um they they um john cooking has done it where one of the places where his one of his businesses are registered is actually one of the renter space offices in London, and <coughs> I do think that was immaturity on Jake's part, and I don't like the idea of him working with his father because I think his father, I think there's a lot going on, especially with the father, that nobody's aware of, um, and we might get those answers next week. I don't know. Because uh, there have been a lot of conversations that have happened off camera because he's worried about, you know, he doesn't want, he doesn't want to jeopardise his relationship with his family. Because if the, if the, if YouTube goes away, all the money and everything goes away, then he's basically, he's, he'll have nobody left if he thinks his family. It's like, yeah, but at the end of the day, at the minute, it's your family that's pulling you down. Your brother's reputation is making you almost to be as bad as him he does shit and he automatically is like oh well you're logan's brother so you're just as bad as him he when when the suicide forest thing happened jake never said anything when he should have done he should have said what my brother did was 
not right, not nice, and he should never have done it. But he didn't. But... And it's like people say, yeah, but that's family business. It's like, yeah, that's a family business. But when you have two people in the same family that are in the same business, one person does something so completely outlandish that affects everybody else on the platform. And then you don't stand up and say, I actually disagree with what I did and I think he was completely in the wrong. But I think some of it is Logan being a manipulated bastard which we all know he is. Um, he's actually admitted to having um, sociopath or psychopath tendencies. Um, that, you know, he does do things to that would equate him to being a sociopath or a psychopath, but he isn't necessarily a psychopath, which is true. You can do two or three things that would make you a psychopath, but you're not a full psychopath because the, you have to, I think you've got to hit a certain percentage of the check marks basically so we shall see what happens but i do think it's got a lot to do with logan and greg and i don't think that i think the mother is a good the mother and the girlfriend are great for him the brother and the father not so much and i'm sorry but he needs to cite them off because fuck off fly um he needs to cite them off because He's just going to keep pulling him down. Um, stupid flies. I don't know why, I'm still got, why we've got flies. It's fucking October. I mean, it's warm again. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens next week. Next week, they are going to talk to... Um, to um, not Tessa. The ex-girlfriend. Alyssa. That's it. I'm going to talk to her. And she does talk about what happened because she slept with Logan. Um... Um, they do talk about the bar fight and they do admit that they, the bruise was real but they admit that it was possible that the person who attacked their assistant wasn't necessarily face it could have been somebody else because they can't completely believe her obviously something's happened in that situation to make that relationship sour um, but I think a lot of it was because there was a lot of kickback and because videotape proved that he, he was that phase didn't do anything to her so obviously afterwards it was like well who did do that you know the first story was a guy had strangled her she never said the the first time oh it was phase so that's the state of things at the moment um i think i'm going to do some craft videos this week um, I'm pretty much up on videos now until the end of next week, but I'll still do a live stream on Sunday or Monday, depending on how I'm feeling on Sunday. Um, with whatever happens over the weekend. Um, but hopefully, I'll be able to get some sleep this weekend. Because uh, I've got my mum coming soon, and I've also got um husband off for a week soon, and I've also got a Halloween party coming up as well, so... I've got quite a bit of stuff to sort out and there's other stuff I want to get sorted out as well so it's like ah. I'm very wants to do 10,000 things but my body's like uh, fuck you <laughs> so anyway let's just keep watching and see what happens because I do think that this is going to change a lot of people's views on Jake um, my finding mind shifting um, I do still think he is a bit of a jackass but he's young I, have, I do have a good 10 plus years on him so yeah I have to remember that so there you go um so let's just see how things go um but I don't think Greg and Logan are good for Jake sorry and I'm glad that Erica understands that and she's trying to talk some sense into him let's just hope it works so Stay safe, be good, have fun, and I will see you very soon.